Good morning and welcome to the opening of Thorsby Vale Country Park. For over 90 years, the land on which we are standing now has been out of bounds and Harworth's aim is to create sustainable places where people want to live and work. It's an absolute testament to the sort of grit and gumption and determination of the people of Newark and Sherwood to actually turn around Thorsby so quickly. The pit closed in 2015, planning commission was granted in 2016 and I think the first residents moved in 2017. It is absolutely a case study in regeneration in action. Today has been absolutely fantastic. It's uh, been a lot of work in the background for a number of weeks. Families saying how much they've enjoyed the day, but also how much they just really love living here. The children's archery has gone down really well. Lots of children have taken part in that, and uh, the children going up and doing the Explorer Trail has been lovely because it gives them an opportunity to explore the country park. We are a sustainable open space management company, so we look after all of the open space here. And what we're really trying to do today is get people out and about and into the nature and onto the, uh, the wilder areas to see what's on their dust. The birds we've seen today, a number of species, has just been incredible, which really shows that the habitat is bedding in well. The voles, the shrews and the, the rodents that they feed on, they've got to have their food provided. And that food can only be provided by having a significant habitat increase, which is what's been done here. It's fantastic. As a councillor and I also sit on the planning committee, I see a lot of these developments come through. And I think what is so great from coming to see this in person is how well the developers have worked to increase people's access to nature. It's absolutely stunning here and I think with the forest school centre that's going to be built, I'm a forest schools practitioner, I know the real tangible benefits to children that don't quite survive as well in traditional educational settings and just all the wonderful opportunities that bring. So I've been here today with my children as a family and they've absolutely loved this and we've seen Dragonflies, butterflies, it's been wonderful. So I think well done to the developers here that are really, you know, doing things in harmony with nature. Speaking to a lot of people that have worked on the site for a long time, people like Glenn Mather internally in the pickups who did a lot of work for us, who have worked on this site for years and years and years and made things like the uh, picnic tables, uh, just brilliant to see. And do you know what the best thing is? That I can stand on the hill and eat ice cream uh, <laughs> and see the fruits of what we've done. It's been brilliant. So. You talk about a cherry on the cake, you usually put a cherry on the cake as a last thing, um, actually this is the cherry on the cake uh, and we've not completed the cake yet. So just remember that the, the park's not here just for today, it's for the benefit of the rest of our lives. Hey. Thank you very much. Enjoy.